Hello YouTube. Today we're going to demonstrate um, a D-Rock DC adjustable buck. Uh, uh, it's not a transformer, but uh, it's a circuitry d designed to convert 8 to, 20, 8 to 22 volts DC to um, 1 to 15 volts DC. Um, and the schematic here shows that these, the, these are the input leads, the red and the black, and these are the output leads, uh, the uh, black and the yellow. And then, so the way that you adjust the, um, the voltage is there's this little pot on the bottom here. And so you can adjust the voltage there. Now, I haven't tried this yet. Um, so we're going to hook this up to the uh, regulated DC power supply and uh, check the output voltage. Um, and then the specifics say it's good up to 3 amps here. And I have this DC motor, which draws 2 amps at 15 volts. Um, and then we're going to see uh, how this will adjust uh, the speed of the motor, which is also the voltage and the amperage. Um, so I will get set up, and I will be right back. First, I'll just show you the, um, this is the regulated power supply. Um, and then I've got this, you know, just plugged into the motor here, and you'll be able to hear it. Uh, but just to demonstrate, we'll go ahead and turn the... Um, So you got 14.4 volts and it's drawing 1.47 amps. All right, we'll bring this down. We'll unhook the uh, motor here. And so now I've just got the uh, voltage set at 12.3 volts here. Okay. Here's the leads. And uh, I don't know what the setting's at right now, but we'll go ahead and hook this up. So we've got 12 volts going in. And let's check the output voltage here. It's uh, three, four volts out. So with 12.3 volts in, we got four volts out. All righty. And uh, let me go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and clamp these up here. The alligator clips. Now I've got free hands. You got four volts. We're putting 12.3 in. I should take this down because it says 12 volts. So I'll put this at 10 volts. Okay, we got 10 volts. Oh, 8 to 22 in. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let's take it back up to. Uh, 15.7. 15.7 volts in, and we've got four volts out. Actually, as I adjust this, so it's 8.9, and it's still showing a constant four volts out. And crank it up to 15.4, and it's still showing four volts out. So that's holding pretty solid there. Now I gotta get a screwdriver small enough to adjust this pot here. Now you can see as I'm adjusting it, the voltage is going up. Let's see if this is a better screwdriver. Even need a thinner screwdriver. Okay. Got a little glare here. All right. 
right, so as I crank this up, the voltage goes up. So we got five volts by adjusting the dial here. And now let's go ahead and put a load on it. Uh, just again to show you, I've got 15.4 uh, in and five, five volts out. And we'll go ahead and put the motor load on it. Try to keep the voltmeter on it as well. Okay, so as you can see, the voltage dropped a tad. Um, and the input voltage is showing 15.4 at 0.37 amps. And then we got four. Uh, 0.78 volts out. So we'll go ahead and adjust the, the pot and raise the voltage up uh, to um, let's see how high it will go with 15.4 in. And in the meantime you can hear the motor speed up. I'll go ahead and tell you my amps are 0.5 amps down. Fifteen point four in, point seven five amps, and eight point nine zero volts out. Oop! And uh, my wire just fell off, guys. We're at one amp now, 15.3 volts in, uh, 0.96 amps in, 10.95 uh, volts out. And we hit the end of the dial. You can see it holds pretty solid. That about and you got pretty good control of the volts there. At one point five volts it's drawing uh, a tenth of an amp. So this thing is pretty solid. Uh, we only tested to half the ampere's capacity. But anyway, I think this is a pretty good product review. Thank you all very much for watching.